Oh God, I don't even remember how this camera works. Okay, hello. It has been a hot minute since I have filmed a travel vlog, but that is what we are going to attempt. I am in beautiful, sunny Palm Springs. I'm here for this YouTube creator event called Clamour, which is kind of like a creator to creator industry style event. So I'm hoping to learn a lot. I flew into LA yesterday and very early this morning, drove to Palm Springs. This is where I'm staying. This is my view from my balcony. Da, da, da. Beautiful. It's gonna get really hot though. I don't know if I can handle it. <gasps> but basically the reason why I want to do this travel vlog is because this is my first big trip with the stoma bag. And I feel like that's important to document. Um, we'll see what happens. This is also going to be my first time in a bikini and going swimming with the stoma bag. So there's just a lot of firsts. But yeah, I'm excited to take you along this stoma bag travel journey vlog thing. So enjoy. We are at the reception drinks for Clamour and look who's here! Ah! Ash and Sierra and Echo. We're gonna have food. We're gonna have food and drink and we're gonna go swimming later. Yes! Good morning, it is officially day one of Clamour and we've already established that I'm terrible at vlogging and remembering to get out of the camera, but it's fine. So I went swimming last night and it was fine. It's happening. First time swimming. Don't even know if I can physically swim. It's a moment, Hannah. It's a moment, this is a first. It's fine, it's just like swimming. <laughs> That's the most responsible way anyone has ever gotten to a pool. I tried to do a bit of breaststroke and treading water, can't do, that hurt. Also, this morning, when I looked in my wash kit and saw the little filter covers that you put on the bag when you go <laughs> swimming, I realized I forgot to do that. The other thing is that because it's so hot here, I've been drinking a lot of water, and also, because I have a stoma and no large intestine, it means I'm more likely and more prone to dehydration. I had two glasses of wine last night, and I have a hangover. So, lesson learned, Hannah needs to drink more water, even though I drank so much water yesterday. I'm gonna try and find some like Gatorade or something with electrolytes and like salts and sugars in to kind of help, but right now I'm late for breakfast. So let's do that. We are going on the tram! I've actually been on this tram about five years ago, but it's fine, we're gonna do it again and pretend like it's super exciting, because it is! You see that tram? That's gonna be us. Yeah. Science. 516 feet. Uh, feet. Hang it out when we dock, we may bump the sides a little bit, so please keep your balance. We didn't die on the tram, but we no. do feel we very dizzy did. and sick because of the revolving floor. But it's so beautiful <laughs> up here and so quiet. We're being too loud. We're in the desert and all those people down there live in the desert. Good morning, it is day two of Clamour and I wanted to show you my outfit of the day. Okay. So, wearing this, and then these shorts I got in a charity shop. I think they're originally Marks and Spencer's. I actually got them tailored, because they were too big for me. And so now they fit nice and snug. The thing about this outfit is that we've got scar and stoma bag on show. I've put Factor 50 sun cream on the scar, don't worry. I don't know how obvious it is. You've got like top of the bag, and then you've got this bit of scar. All right, let's go out into the world like this. Sierra and I were on the front row of like all the paddles we're nerding out. We're so nerdy. <laughs> I love it. Um, but Clam is like over all of the like official programming and stuff but we've got like a happy hour drinks thing and then probably pool times if I don't fall asleep beforehand because you can do it. I've been up so long. I just came back to the room to get changed. New swimming cozy and I've actually remembered to put a filter on my stoma bag. So these are the filters, they're just like little stickers. You stick one of these on when you go swimming so water doesn't get in the bag. Or something, I'm not an expert, this is just what I've been told. The pool party isn't until later, but I might wanna get in the pool before that. I've not actually been in the pool in the daytime yet. I've been too busy learning. Good morning, I am no longer in Palm Springs. I'm now in Los Angeles. We drove back from Palm Springs yesterday, the day before, didn't film anything, 
basically just lay by the pool all day. It was glorious. Last night I filmed a collab with Katie Morton. If you don't know who she is, you should definitely check her out. Her channel's all about mental health. She's a licensed therapist, would recommend. And then we went out for dinner and it was lovely. So part of the reason why I wanted to document this trip and do a travel vlog is because it's my first trip with the stone bag. And so can't shy away from talking about relevant things, even if they're sad. So I mentioned this in a previous video about the stoma, that I still have a rectum, it produces mucus, and then what happened was is some blood was coming out of that too, which is a bad sign. And I was prescribed some suppositories, which are like little pill pellet things that you put up your bum. It had completely gone away for me. I'd finished the course of pellets before I came out here but the blood has now returned. I'm still in LA for another week, and then after that, I'm in Austria for a week. So I've still got two weeks until I'm home. I've called my specialist nurse, I've left her a message, and so hopefully tomorrow she'll have called me back. Um, and with the time difference and stuff, I don't know, hopefully I get to speak to her. It's been a very busy week, and I've got a very busy week in LA coming up. So I'm kind of panicking, but I know I shouldn't, I just need to like, try and have a good day before I hear back from her. I'm going to just go see if I can find somewhere to get a pedicure and somewhere to get a massage because that's something that I've been talking about for ages. I can lie on my stomach now quite comfortably with the scar and the stone bug so I'm like it's time to get a massage. But yeah today is just a try not to think about it, wait until tomorrow, see what happens kind of day. This is the reality, traveling with a chronic illness. Shit happens, or mucus happens. Bloody mucus. You're welcome. I wanna do a bit of an outfit of the day because I kind of think <laughs> this is ridiculous. I've got my uh, orange jacket and yellow skirt thing that I got in a charity shop, and then a yellow bag that I got recently from Accessorize. I think I look great, <laughs> but I also think I look ridiculous. But I also got a pedicure. -de 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 -de. I've booked a massage just at a place that turned up on Google Maps. It's a 10 minute walk from where I am, so we'll see if it's any good, but it's gonna be 90 minutes long. And the other thing is there's a cemetery really close to where I'm staying, and I do love walking around a good cemetery. We'll see how I feel after the massage, and maybe I'll wander around and look at some dead people graves. Day for Hannah, pampering plus graveyards. Yay! I'm back in my Airbnb now, but I went to the graveyard and I was not expecting there to be Hebrew just all over the entrance. From what I understood on Google, it's called like the Hollywood Forever Cemetery and it was like people who'd worked in Hollywood or something. Yeah, there was just like Stars of David and menorahs like on all of the gravestones. But then I got like halfway through the cemetery and there were loads of crosses. So it's for everyone, a bit of a mixture. Well, not everyone. Jews and Christians. Maybe there were non-religious folks buried there too. But I just love walking around cemeteries, like I find it really peaceful. Is that just me? Does anyone else like just walking around cemeteries? <laughs> but yeah, it's 4pm so it's actually quite late in the day and I feel like I've done a lot. I'm gonna chill out for a bit and I'm also quite sweaty and greasy from that massage. Oh, life is hard. <laughs> Let's just ignore the fact I'm in my pyjamas in the middle of the day. I just watched Rebecca Zamolo's documentary about her ulcerative colitis and having a stoma. So I'm like feeling a bit emotional. I don't know why I decided to watch it on a day when um, I've been having like rectum symptoms. I don't know what my body is doing, like out and about all this morning and afternoon and like I'm fine, I'm fine. And as soon as I get back in, it's like, oh, there's the urgency and then that pain again and then like mucus and blood and everything. I know everyone's story is different and everyone suffers from IBD differently and recovery is different because every surgery is different. Rebecca had her colon removed like me but she had it laparoscopically so it's like through keyhole surgery so they make like three holes in your stomach and do the surgery through that whereas I had open surgery which meant they cut me right down the middle and that takes much longer to recover from. So like oh, I don't know why I'm torturing myself like comparing comparing my journey to other people's like it's just ridiculous but ah she did a half marathon two months after surgery i'm four months after surgery and i can't even run to a bus stop Ugh. i can't like i've only just started walking without a walking stick 
Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming now before this video becomes super depressing. Ah. <sighs> but it's just hard. Everything takes so long. <sighs> so I'm feeling a bit better now. I've just like had some time to chill and I'm about to go out and get dinner with Stevie. I realised that I really need to get out of my head of comparing my recovery to other people's. It's just not the same and it's not healthy and it's just not going to help me recover. One thing that I completely forgot to mention is I am doing a 5k walk for Crohn's and Colitis UK which is um, a charity for Crohn's and Colitis. They have these walk it events all across the United Kingdom over the summer and my parents are going to be doing the 5k walk with me in London which I think is Saturday the 9th of June. I'll leave a link in the description to the Just Giving page if you want to donate to Crohn's and Colitis UK. They seriously help so many people living with IBD and raising awareness about it and just offering support. I've like shared the link on social media and stuff but I've completely forgotten to do it in a video. Not a half marathon but again let's not compare. 5k will be the longest I'll have walked since surgery. So big deal, big deal for me. And I just love that my parents are coming to do it with me because they were there for me every day whilst I was in hospital for four weeks. So yeah, I'll just be like really nice doing that with them and I'm getting emotional thinking about it. Ah! Okay, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm okay, I'm happy and I'm off to go get dinner. Also, if I say so myself, I've been really loving my outfits for this trip. We've got this top from a charity shop originally from monkey these are my first pair of jeans that i've got since surgery and they're nice and high-waisted so they like cover the stoma bag real nice and snug i struggle with jeans shopping i think like most people because of the um big bum thigh situation and then the small waist and they worked and i'm obsessed i'll leave a link in the description to these ones if you're interested it'll be an affiliate link but yeah see you prayer Cute. Sorry, I'm just really feeling myself. <laughs> morning. Neat, neat, neat. Good morning, and what a morning it has been. Let me update you on my health whilst travelling situation. So I spoke to my IBD nurse. She's written a prescription for me. My amazing, incredible, most wonderful boyfriend Dan has picked up the prescription, has got the drugs. So I have the drugs, but they're in England. My parents were like, we will express one day, deliver it from here to you. Then they did a bit of Googling. Turns out you can't import medications. So that plan out of the window. So I am going back to London. On my way back, before I go to Austria, I have a layover in London Heathrow. And because I've booked the flights separately, I kind of have to go out and then back in again. So there is a window of like two and a half hours. And Dan, like I said, the most amazing human in the entire world. I'm sorry for being sappy, but I'm just very appreciative of the people in my life right now. He is going to meet me at the airport to hand me the drugs. I say drugs and airport in the same sentence and that sounds really bad. My medication, my very necessary medication. But that's not for another six days. So I'm going to keep an eye on my symptoms. I'm at Universal Studios all day today so that will hopefully take my mind off it and then I'm at Disneyland all day tomorrow. If it's still happening and there's still blood on Wednesday I'm gonna go to a walk-in clinic. I've never tried to get healthcare whilst traveling before. Let's hope that this is okay and my travel insurance works. Oh, and on top of that, I've been calling back home and I've been calling American numbers because I was calling the like IBD center in LA and I've completely run out of minutes. From speaking to my IBD nurse, she said that long haul flights can trigger symptoms and that's very normal. And she also said that a lot of patients have these symptoms for like several months after surgery and it's fine and it's normal. I just have to like make sure it's not getting worse and I'm not experiencing any other symptoms like fatigue. But other than that, traveling with the stoma and the stoma bag has been a breeze. This has been fine so far. It's my bum hole <laughs> that hasn't been. Let's stop this before, <laughs> before it gets weird. Okay, I'm going to Universal Studios. Ah! <laughs> Got 
got taught our house handshake, so I got taught the Hufflepuff one, Stevie got taught Slytherin, but tell us about your identity. Oh yeah, I thought I was a Ravenclaw. Well, I was ignoring my Slytherin identity my whole life, kind of like my sexuality. Suppressing it. I got my first Slytherin thing. The one's all my Ravenclaw stuff. And I got a Hufflepuff one, and it's definitely not my first piece of Hufflepuff merch. <laughs> What'd you get? I got a chili cheese cup, but it's a foot long. What, like, absolutely. That is ridiculous. How, is that gonna fit inside of you? Oh no, it's broken on the bottom. Oh no. Oh. It's all coming apart. Oh my God, you have to eat it with a fork now. <laughs> yeah, get it. You nailed it. <laughs> I'm doing the Jurassic Park ride for the Whee! first time. It's so fun, it's not even bad. I hate big drops. The um, person who works here says that it's smaller than Squash Mountain. And I've done half, that. Half of the and, but that still terrifies me. But I've never done this before. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Fine. Now that I've done it, it means I can do it again. We're in the three broomsticks. I got a kid's meal <laughs> because portion size is ridiculous. Also, I got these earrings. I couldn't resist. Is it too much? Is it too much? Never. Are you ready, Hermione? I get a lot of people telling me I look like Emma Watson. Yeah, so you kind of do. Okay, we got to see what you think of your reflection. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness! I've always wanted to wear this dress. Aww. And now I have. I know I look great. <laughs> Is it bad that I just want to own this? No. Get whatever I you want. I ever wear it though. I hate that I love Harry Potter so much because J.K. Rowling steals all my money. <laughs> Good morning. I'm going to Disneyland. Oh, I love this place. I found Sierra. Yay! <laughs> she had spare ears and brought me some. So I felt so extra holding two pairs of ears on the tram. <laughs> First point of call. Corn dog. Whoa. I love these so much. Someone's gonna make a gif of that. Oh, over. First ride of the day. First ride of the day. I'm so excited. She has not done. It's called the Cove Bar, and they have these like crazy drinks. I turned 21 last year, but it's been closed since then, so I've never gotten to go, and I'm so excited. And I've never been either. We're gonna get like the most extra oh, drinks Frank. ever. I'm so excited. Get drunk with Ariel. Yeah. Is that what it is? That's how Disney advertises. Yeah. Surely. These are called Fun Wheels. Mm -hmm. I don't want to stir it up because it's so pretty. Yeah. But the guy said to stir it up. I mean, it tastes delicious. Do you like my beard? We just watched the Frozen. Hannah show. cried during Mud Go. I did, I did. But right now, we're about to go on the Guardians ride. Uh, I've never been on it before. This you is can a, do it. This is another first. I don't like drops. Also, we had a bit to drink. Yeah. <laughs> I did it! She did it! I did. Guardians. I can't believe I have been terrified of this ride for like five years. Oh, it's not years. that bad. Shake Shack. Dodie is napping. We're just gonna <laughs> knock on her door and be like, we got you food because we're the best. But well, we've got the screening tonight. Are you excited? I am excited. Bit, bit nervous. nervous. <laughs> Elle's nervous for some reasons and I'm nervous for other reasons. My reasons are the fact that basically everyone there and then everyone who I have to hang out with afterwards will have then kind of seen me mostly naked. And me emotionally yeah. naked. Yeah, we're being very vulnerable yes. <laughs> today. But first, eating. Dodi L outfits of the day. Uh huh. Could be very chill, but I paired it with some heels. Boom, boom. Heels and socks. Oh. Connected to my camera and hit record. Blazer to just put it on, and there we go. There we go. Boom. Nailed it. Okay, now for the real stuff. So I've got a suit. Cool. 
Creating is a roller coaster where you get the idea and you're super excited and elated to do it, and then you do it and you're like, what have I done? No one should see this. And you put it together and you're like, okay, yeah, this is pretty cool. Like, this will connect with people. And you get very close to putting it out and you're like, oh my god, no one should see this. I'm a monster. You just kind of make what you want to make, and then when people love it, they love it. So Buffer Festival was amazing. I cannot wait to show you the video that I premiered there. It will be out soon. Obviously I've watched that video several times before it got screened, but it's very emotional for me. And sitting on the front row when they just like glaring down at you like huge, I just started sobbing and I wasn't expecting that. So you may have noticed I never went to urgent care to get medication for the symptoms I've been having. It's because they haven't gotten worse. It's been very manageable and it's not a problem at all. But Dan is still meeting me at the airport with the bum pellets to hand over to me. But yeah, to be honest, as my first time traveling with a stoma bag and still being in recovery from surgery, it's been really manageable. The stoma um, and the stoma bag have been fine. Like I've had no issues there at all. Literally the only thing is the butt mucus. So, you know, you're welcome for all of that detail to whatever extent it's possible, I've felt normal. It's been a good time and it's definitely made me not scared of more more travel times in the future. Also, I'm very excited for the plane journey back. I'm terrified of flying, but I'm flying upper class. The things you do to ease yourself back into life after surgery. Treat yourself. Although don't treat yourself or it's gonna make you go bankrupt. Thank you, Air Miles. I hope you guys have enjoyed this travel vlog documenting my first time traveling with a stoma bag. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would love to know if you are willing to share if any of you have chronic illness or medical conditions and how that affects your travel, the extra things that you have to do or think about in those cases please let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload again bye